What's up everybody, Ryan here. I got wasps. I'm here for a filter change on these two old Lennoxes. I've been here before splitting coils. I believe my hose exploded right about over there, but got my ladders set up there because I've got no act. Oh, shit. I knew that was gonna happen. My hose sprung a leak. Unbelievable. All right. Let me go turn the water off. Son of a bitch. First thing I noticed in this unit, thermostat, blank. Breaker is on. So we're gonna investigate and see why. The thermostat's blank. All right. What do we got going on here? Unit two. Pretty sure this is the one with the blank thermostat. Our fuse is not tripped. Get the old meter out here. Did we lose power from the breaker? Everything looks relatively good. I don't see any burnt smoked wires. I really need one of those magnetic uh, meters so I can be cool like the rest of y'all. 208. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah, we're missing a missing a leg, I think. 208. 208. And right there. Right there, we're missing a leg. Three phase unit. Bet you we got a pop fuse. What do we got, a bad compressor? All right, let's take a peek at the fuses before the rain comes. It feels like rain, it's calling for thunderstorms. Ugh. Oh, our fuses are good. All right, well, we don't have a blown fuse. 208. 120. One. Uh, so we have a leg from the breaker. No good. Let me check that again. We're going to ground. If I can get this camera to stay put. Right there, 120, 120, 9.98. So we have a leg at the breaker. That's bad. We'll go investigate this uh, breaker situation. Yeah, I should probably bring the meter. See you down there. RTU, they're not marked. And they're both on. So one of these isn't giving the proper voltage. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this panel. We'll get an eyeball on the breaker. All right, get the cover off. Everything appears visually. All right, let's take a peek here. If we have proper voltage here, then somewhere we've uh, lost a leg. Right there, 106. 120. Two oh nine, two oh nine, two oh nine. I reset it. Now I've got proper voltage. I don't know why. It was showing one leg off. It's like a, a 
O.J. Simpson died. I'm gonna note it. We'll go back up on the roof, double check voltage up there. All right, I reset that breaker and it appears that the voltage is correct now between all three phases at 209. Um, it's starting to rain. So I'm gonna hop up on the roof, test it. I'm gonna recommend that breaker get replaced. We'll go from there. Singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. I'm gonna test the voltage at this disconnect before I go insane. Uh oh, the wind is picking up. All right. 208. 208. 208. Give this thing a general inspection here before I flip the power on. Make sure nothing crazy happened. I'll bring you back here. It's about to start pouring, I believe. Get these filters changed, check the blowers, and we'll cycle them in AC. All right, let's give it a whirl. Now nothing went boom yet fucking rain i might have to go get my rain jacket wires on the condenser fan look good let me get the meter out hopefully this rain passes by here quickly all right y'all making this quick i got r y and g jumped out Dumping heat. Blower's running. I think we had a breaker problem. A breaker problem. The rain's coming. I'm not spending all day on this. I'm gonna recommend the uh, breaker get replaced. I'm gonna get some pictures of that panel and uh, confirm the voltage. It's a 50 amp breaker. I wanna confirm the panel. I checked the blowers on both of these just to make sure they were good when I replaced the filters. They're direct drive motors. They didn't look extremely dirty. Um, it's weird the way that breaker was only putting that two legs. I was missing a leg. Once I reset it, something might be going on internally with that uh, breaker. And that's what I'm gonna write up. All right. No coil cleaning. It's a filter change, cycle operation, kind of PM, which I'm fine with. I think we're good. I'm gonna clear both of these condensate drains, and then I'm gonna be on my way. The rain seems to have subsided. Power issue with this one. Coming from the breaker, supply power issue. Tested it, confirmed it, wasn't putting out the proper voltage. Reset it, it seems to be fine. So we're gonna write up to uh, replace that breaker. But in the meantime, she's running. We are back, baby. We are fucking back. We are back. Yeah. Classic. We are back! That's we right. are back! What's up, everybody? I'm back. Terrenum PA. Breaker on unit two. Um, 
lost a phase last time I was here. I'm sent back now with a breaker. We're gonna check it. We're gonna replace the breaker and install a phase monitor. And we're good to go. So I'm gonna head in the store, swap out this breaker. We'll find a spot somewhere in this electrical compartment to mount a phase monitor. Get it wired in. It's Friday. Let's go. So the fun part's over. Here's some wire, some thermostat wire, some higher gauged wire, uh, the old phase monitor, ICM controls. Been learning to I really like these products from ICM controls lately. So let me go ahead and get up on the roof. We're not gonna go through everything on how to do the um, the phase monitor because I've already put a video up on that before but I'll bang this out like I said it's Friday and uh, I think I'll take the rope it's Friday baby breaker down phase monitor to go all right guys I'm back up here I just want to confirm that I've got proper voltage here um, See if I can get this in frame. 208, 207.5, 208. So we're all good. Make sure the disconnect's working. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. Beautiful, check the ground. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Check the fuses. Come on. There we go. So we're all set. Uh, I believe these are pretty tight as far as the electrical compartment goes. So I'm going to open this thing up and see where we can mount a phase monitor. Um, I rode up the breaker. I picked up my parts today. There's a phase monitor sitting there with the sitting there with the part. So I'm putting it in in case you're wondering. All right, guys, so this is what I'm working with here. The electrical compartment and the heat exchanger compartment are all one. Obviously, I don't want to mount it right to the face of the heat exchanger. Here's your uh, combustion box. This gets very hot. We don't want to mount it there. We've got a little thing here for some electrical control board. Contactor, I don't see a good spot for that. On the back side of this is an electrical compartment. This is what I've got. So I'm thinking either down here or right there. This might be where it needs to go. Um, I'm going to open up this and make sure I'm not going to drill into anything, but I'm going to put the camera down. I'm going to get this thing mounted. I'll get it wired up. I'll bring you back when we fire the unit up and run it run through set up this uh phase monitor all right guys this is the spot i decided on i removed this panel back here just to make sure i wasn't going to screw into an evaporator coil or any wiring uh, i've got my line voltage all three legs uh 
wired here off the top of the contactor. I've got 24 volt control voltage and I'm breaking R to the thermostat. There's no control boards in here that will continue to leave the fan run or anything like that. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, break R to the thermostat and that'll shut the unit off if we have any issues with the phasing or the voltage from the supply. I don't foresee there being any issues. Um, they wanted the phase monitor, I guess, as a precaution just for the fact that it was missing a leg because of the breaker. Uh, so it is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and button up these panels. I'm going to apply power. I'm going to set this up and make sure that it's all phased properly. I left these long enough that if I had to switch one, I went one, two, three, uh, L1, L2, L3, but you never know. You might have to flop one. The control will tell you whether the phase is incorrect or not. So. So I'm going to button it up like I said, apply power, set this control up, and we should be good to go. All right, not sure if you're going to be able to see this at all, but I'm going to fire up the unit. And ICM 450 phase average, 209, 210, 209. Apparently, I guessed right, my phasing is correct. Uh, I like that. Let me go ahead and run through the setup here. Setup, 208, 15 minute delay on brake, uh, delay on fault, 20% over voltage, under voltage 20%, phase unbalance, reset mode zero, control mode. You wanna switch that? to on English all right we're done uh, read beautiful now is the thermostat calling I think I'm gonna make a phone call have them kick the thermostat down that way we can see it run make sure everything is good to go all right there we have it kicking some heat out of the condenser i love it it's a beautiful thing got the breaker switched got the phase monitor in everything's working it's friday it's a beautiful day i'm gonna sit here and watch this thing for a little bit we've got an abandoned steak and shake and we've got the pittsburgh mills mall over there which has like two stores in it uh what you gonna do all right guys, that's gonna do it for this one. Uh, found an issue with the breaker, returned, replaced the breaker, installed an ICM phase monitor. Check these guys out, ICM controls, really like their products, so appreciate you guys watching. If you liked the video, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, that'll notify you anytime I got a new video coming out. Leave me a comment, hit like, I appreciate you, and I'll see you on the next one.